Welcome to News Click. Since 1957, when a government was elected in Kerala, led by EMS Nambudri Pat, there are lot of steps taken by that government in case of land reforms. Those land reforms have played a crucial role in the development of the state as a whole. When the farmers are facing lot of crisis all across the country, Kerala has rolled out a separate model, which has been received with lot of attention. to discuss about the plans rolled out by the government the approach towards the farming sector and the advancements made in the sector we have with us professor vk ramachandran the vice chairman of the kerala state planning board welcome sir so kerala so kerala is uh, one of the states which implemented uh, land reforms way back in the 1960s so what is the role of uh, such a reforms in the present day situation of the presence of the state kerala's land reform is something that affected not only agriculture but land reform was the, the key element in kerala's progress as a whole if you uh, it was central to our development as uh, in the first assembly in 1957 within 6 days of the government taking office they brought forward the land reform legislation so it was uh, and today if kerala is known if we are known for our achievements in education in health in social justice in um, in the position of women uh, the health then land reform played a very key role in that that's uh, and the, it could not have been it would not have happened without land reform so when we when we think about pro so the the progress that kerala has made is a progress that was not brought to kerala by cap- modern capitalism contemporary capitalism or by the market it was through through public action through the struggles of the people against uh, class and caste oppression against uh, gender discrimination and in which in which uh, the process of land reform played a crucial role so if we are thinking of pro if we are thinking of about progress in and comprehensive social transformation in our society as a whole we must pay attention to these uh, but we must learn the lesson of uh facing and Uh, attempting to resolve the agrarian question that's what kerala, kerala took seriously right from the beginning so what is the support the government or uh, the successive ldf governments given for the uh, presence of this today i think because uh, <clears throat> as I, it has been well noted that the per quintal support in say in rice cultivation in kerala is higher than is the highest in, in the country so uh we we support the plan supports and other agencies support the uh input we help the farmer with respect to input prices we uh we we intervene with there's administrative and uh, sub- subsidy intervention with regard to uh input costs with regard to the uh marketing procurement and the and the msp so we have a comprehensive uh, program for support to farmers particularly rice farmers here but it goes beyond that we have uh, we have uh, schemes and uh, detailed schemes for special crops for coconut for special agricultural uh, efforts for irrigation and so on so there is a great deal of attention paid to agriculture and water is water resource management in the plans in kerala so what is the uh, projects which are you know envisaged for the uh, modernization or mechanization of agriculture industry L- let's see now um what i i don't want to give the impression that kerala is a very you know is in a very advanced agricultural state we still have far to go huh? uh and the slogan we have taken up in for agricultural progress in the uh 
13th plan and now the 14th five-year plan is productivity, profitability, and sustainability. These are Profitability means we have to increase. Pro productivity means we have to increase the productivity of crops. It's not, not enough, uh, whether it's, uh, whether it's uh, uh, rice or whether it's uh, co coconut or many of our major crops. We have to intervene through the application of science and technology in improving our uh, productivity. This is very clear. Kisan Sabha has discussed this. We're very clear on the need for this, whether it involves seed material, improvement of the soil, technical improve, improvements in farming practices. All of these are, is a, must contribute to, in a modern and scientific way, to the enhancement of productivity. The second is profitability. We must enhance the, the incomes of farmers. We must, uh, through modern methods, in, increase productivity. And by ensuring higher incomes, uh, uh, we, we also want to encourage youth you know, to take up farming, to, you know, to, to help transform us into an advanced state with respect to the crops that we do grow. Uh, the third is sustainability, and we have our duties. You know, uh, Kerala is uh, a state which is characterized by great biodiversity. While we use that biodiversity to increase the incomes of our people, we also are very conscious of the need to preserve, preserve the environment and uh, biodiversity, but we seek not to uh, be environmentally sensitive after the fact, but to build in uh, uh, issues, uh, build in safeguards regarding sustainability into our agricultural program itself. Another important aspect of uh, Kerala is the role of the local cell crops. So, what role they play in uh, encouraging farming? So we, yeah, that's, in the uh, as you know, I, I don't know if you know. We now the budget gives twenty six point five percent of the budget goes to is reserved for local bodies, and this will increase at 0 0.5, 0 0.5 percentage points every year until we reach thirty. This is, a, this is an assurance given by the government. And um, if you take the entire amount that is spent all to, by uh, uh, local bodies and local, the local self-government uh, organizations, it will be about more than 40% of the budget goes through them. So they pay, pay up till now. And, you know, we, we have had a people's uh, movement for decentralization and they have succeeded greatly in mobilizing you know in being instruments of local democracy and people's participation the call that the government has given now uh, is that not only should they be instruments of people's participation in people's uh, and uh, local democracy they should also be instruments for to harness that energy for improving production for uh, and indeed our new MSME scheme has, they've been very active in that. Hmm? But we also want them to become instruments of enhancing agricultural production and progress in water management, irrigation, and so on. So that, that's a very important part of the future path of agricultural, uh, of the local self-government. Similarly, hmm? in circumstances where you have very small plots, uh, as you know, in Kerala, cooperation is going to, Cooperatives will play a major role in bringing the advantages of scale, scale enhancement to small farmers. In that, cooperatives have to play a very crucial role. So, cooperatives and local governments, we envisage, the government envisages both as having a very important role to play in Kerala's agricultural progress. So, what is the way forward for the uh, peasantry in Kerala? So, I think I think uh, elaborating and putting into practice huh, this slogan of of uh, productivity, profitability, and uh, in other words, productivity enhancement, income enhancement, and sustainability. I think that would be the uh, the way forward. Thank you. Thank you.